<laughs> These may not look like your typical hockey players. Always make sure there's at least two doctors skating with you. But this is a typical Thursday night at the Rochester Rec Center. We just go Tuesdays and Thursdays. This is our thing. For the last nine years, these self-proclaimed old-timers have come together every week to play hockey. The uniforms are important. They just don't fit like they used to. You have to be at least 55 to play, and there are a few guys in their 70s. We got people from all walks of life, all talent levels, coming together, uh, you know, have a good workout, uh, try and work on our hockey skills, and, and just have a lot of fun. We got a guy with two artificial hips. We got a guy with two artificial knees. We just pick up and play. We live 42 miles from here, and we drive every week to do it, uh, pretty much regardless of the weather. Unless there's ice or a blizzard, we'll be here. Tim Lincoln has been a goalie ever since high school. He spent so much time in the nets over the years, and his wife Leslie decided to pick it up too. It was almost like, you know, I want to spend more time with him. I think I'll play hockey too. I'd have to say this is the highlight of our week. Uh, getting to play together. It's a match made in goalie heaven, but there's definitely a healthy competition between husband and wife. Yeah, I have to admit that at, toward the end of the game, if he's the last one to be scored on, I'm excited. <laughs> I'll catch the needle from Les once in a while, and so we, we'll give each other kind of a hard time, but we're really more cheerleaders for each other. You know, being goaltenders, it's like, wow, well, you know, you had a good night, or, you know, hey, you had a rough night, but we'll get them next week. Lately, everyone here plays for another reason, in memory of the man who started the league back in 2006, number seven, Mark James. Mark, Mark, Mark. Mark lost his battle with cancer in December of 2013. Mark's vision at first, I think, was uh, to keep on skating. And, and there was a lot of us that had uh, sold our equipment, gave away our equipment, and uh, pretty much quit. He got us out skating when, when we didn't think we'd skate anymore. And it's been the most fun hockey that we've ever played. And Mark's vision was that we develop strong friendships and, and we'd uh, be out doing something that we all love. I mean, he really taught me um, how, to, how to have fun with the game again. And you know, that, that's the kind of thing that, that you're kind of forever grateful for. You know, you, you play, sometimes you, you think you're playing for yourself or whatever, but you realize that you're playing for the people around you. And that's kind of the, the best part. Now, more than a year after Mark's death, the Mark Jane's Developmental Hockey League is bigger than ever. This is what he envisioned it as. He wanted to just be here so the guys could come and enjoy each other and the camaraderie and, and, and be able to play. And it's serving that purpose. Hip and knee replacements, pacemakers and all, these rink rats are proof that age is just a number when it comes to the love of the game. When I play hockey, I don't even know how old I am. I'm just playing. So does it keep me young? Yeah. The next morning? I know my age then. Yeah. I only got two. up. Only, up. <laughs> only two left and I gotta go drink beer. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> All right, I'm ready, I'm ready for one more shift. Yeah. We're developing friendships. We've developed a, a hockey family. Here you go, Scotty. Here you go, buddy. And uh, in nine years of playing, I couldn't tell you the score. Uh, I couldn't tell you who scored. <laughs> Doesn't matter. It's just, it's just the, the passion and the fun of the game.